Happy holidays from OVW. It is time for our main event as Christian Muscagney heads to the ring with his newly acquired, newly acquired latest hired hands, insurance policies, whatever you want to call them, Kenny. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Christian Muscagney at a total combined weight of 487 pounds. First from Iowa, Mr. Pectacular, Jesse Goddard. His partner from Cincinnati, Ohio, the real deal, Marcus Anthony. Whether you like it or not, you gotta give it to Christian Muscagney. He appears to have found two very well-conditioned athletes here. This, Kenny, our first opportunity to see Goddard's in the ring as a competitor. Well, the Prince has the biggest two in the company, and I think Muscagney has probably the two most athletic. But they are not going to be in the ring with any slouch. He is a former OBW champion. Their opponent first from Jacksonville, North Carolina, weighing in at 257 pounds, Jason Wayne. And if you can look real closely at Jason Wayne, you see a popped blood vessel in his left eye. That from that vicious attack, that on assault, if you will, from Goddard as he bursted onto the scene here last week. Well, he got that head a little too close to Muscagney's business, and he paid the price for it. Oh, I miss seeing the Tasmanian devil. And when you talk Not. about assault, you talk about vicious, then you're talking about what happened to Jamin Olavincia four weeks ago. And his partner from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 216 pounds, Jamin. Four weeks ago, one on one with Rudy Switchblade, and Switchblade laid him out, pile drived him on a chair on the cement floor. When we went off the air that week, Kenny, I didn't know if we'd see Jamin again. Well, I was certainly hoping that he might smarten up and wrap it up, and that'd be the end of it. But like any other dumb animal, he keeps coming back. Olavencia, you know, anything. They say dumb animals never learn. And I'm Olavencia, starting to wonder anything about him. But you interrupt me more than Ron Head interrupts you. All right, maybe not. We are staying with this action. The bell sounds, we are set to go. Jamin Olavincia well, now. Muscagney might have bought the commercial time. I don't know, you never know with them. Going to work on the guy, he calls himself Mr. Pectacular, Jesse Goddard. Well, he's gonna find out early on what he's made of, getting into the ring here with Jason Wayne. Former OVW champion, man. former Marine. Stationed if he in was Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Here's a cover. You done any homework on Wayne? Did you ever find out if he's got a dishonorable discharge in his files or not? Very honorable man. I'm just checking. You know me, I like to turn all the corners. What I want to do research on is, is this guy, Jesse Goddard, and I will do it in, in, the, in, in the next week because Christian Muscagney says Hollywood was looking for him. Hollywood was yeah. looking for yeah, him. Muscagney. He was in commercials, he was in movies, yeah. he was all over the internet. But he paid enough money to get him here in OVW, well, and I want to check those sources yeah, exactly who in Hollywood was looking yeah, for Mr. Goddard. If Muscagney Goddard's. said it, you can rest assured it was the truth and save yourself a do lot Do you of really believe that? Well, absolutely. My personal attorney there. You think I'd have him on retainer if I didn't? I could have any return. I could have any Jamin attorney. Jamin Olavincia coming back on fire, rocking the larger in stature. Marcus Anthony, look at him go to work. He's laying him in, and that's about as bad a beating as I've seen Marcus Anthony take. 
And this crowd recognizes it too. The little Tasmanian devil ain't the biggest guy in the fight, but he certainly brought plenty of fight with him tonight. In comes Wayne here, and we've seen just glimpses of these two getting out of it, and it is explosive in the ring when Wayne and Anthony meet. But this is one of the biggest dogs in the fight. Holy mackerel. Out in just the nick of time, and it's Wayne now. If he'd have landed that, we'd have had a burial with a flag on it. How many times has he gone over the five count and not clean broke? Package Chris Sharp, it's all crap, it's a conspiracy. A conspiracy? Prince, you never follow the rules. Prince pointed it out earlier tonight, Chris Sharp's the worst referee in the dadgum company. Muscadi, Maybe in the history of OVW, he sucks. Ever with something up his sleeve, saying there's a conspiracy because his two new hired hands are coming out of the short stick. Jason Wayne, well, Jamin Olivencia rolling in well, our main well, event. Well, hey, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Davis Arena. We are sold out and jam-packed. Cover, cover. Sold out and jam-packed to the Raptors. This is your main event. Jason Wayne and a returning Jamin Olivencia squaring off against Marcus Anthony and Jesse Goddard's King, the latest hired hands of Mr. Muscagney, Christian Muscagney. And what have you, what have you seen from Mr. Spectacular this far who really hasn't been able to, to get any offense going or flowing against the team? Cover, cover. Well, right of Olivetti and Wayne. Right now, I think Muscagney's wondering if he might have spent too much money. You're exactly right. He's not getting the offense he was wanting to get out of spectacular. Pecta Hard to say that right sometimes. But then again, he's not getting the referee, and he thought he'd get in a fair shake from his company. Chris Package has been botching it left and right. Are you kidding me? How so? Oh, my God. He's blowing every call. He's not getting them broke on five counts. He, he, he's, he's giving Jason Wayne and his partner every, every break in the book and Muscagney's getting nothing. I don't know if we're watching the same match here. I've oh, seen tremendous tag match. team action, and Jamin Olivencia. Look at that, that's probably an illegal Jason maneuver. Jason Wayne working as a well-oiled machine. That probably should have been a disqualification. It was the fastest uh, two-cat I've ever seen in my life. Another near fall here for Jamin Olivencia over Chris Goddard's, or excuse me, Jesse Goddard. Well, I'll tell you what, Package is messing around with two guys in his business. He better not want to piss off. That'd be Muscagney's and the Bolins. Last people you want to get on the bad side of. Careers are shortened when you get on our bad side. Christian Muscagney with one focus, ensuring the OVW heavyweight title with the champion. Cover here from Wayne. To it! Thought he almost had him there. Ensuring the OVW Heavyweight Championship with the champion, Rudy Switchblade. So he has hired Marcus Anthony. He has found Jesse Goddard to take out any well, potential just, threat, just, any top contender who could be gunning just for let, Switchblade. Just to let you know about the powers of the Muscagneys, his, uh, Christian's daddy got upset the other day, found a loophole in, 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 uh, in one of the uh, contracts with the breathalyzers. And I'd be damned if he didn't get about 150 uh, breathalyzer tests overturned, and they're they're free to walk now. That just goes to show you the way that the Muscagneys operate. Always looking for a lupo, always with a trick up their sleeve, well, and you always no, got to keep no, one eye. You phrased it wrong again. One eye in the they back of your head because you never know what integrity. else they have up their sleeve. Honor and integrity. I'm against drunk drivers as much as the next guy, but them guys might have might have been as sober as me and you. Wrongly convicted by the justice system. And that's what Muscagney's out here to put an end to. Wrongful convictions and wrongful wins and losses. This He's is good at it. First time that we're seeing Goddard's and Anthony team up. First time that we're seeing Goddard's compete in the ring. And you got to factor that in too. First time they wrestled together. The timing's got to be off. And Jason Wayne and Jamin Oliventi are giving him quite the welcome here to OVW. How you doing, son? Maybe you should have stayed in California. Maybe you should have stayed in Hollywood. Well, you look into that and find out who was looking for him. Because I can assure you, Muscagney said it. There's some big time movies looking to put Mr. Pectorial in him. Olivencia cut off the ring, wouldn't let Goddard get to Anthony to make the tag. Tasmanian devil. He breaks a lot of rules, there's another one. High octane, 200% cover! Chris, the company package with another two and three quarter count. Doesn't get much closer than that. Like Marcus Anthony needs any referee's help around here. Olivencia count five when he hits people. 
Olivencia stepped outside and he ran into that human wall. That wasn't smart. 6'3", 6'4", 280 pounds, pure muscle is Marcus what, Anthony. Whatever he is, no human beings I know want anything to do with him. But that created the opportunity here. Perhaps the opportunity here to turn the tide and get some offensive offense flowing in Goddard's direction. I heard you asking Muscagney recently where he found Marcus Anthony. I remember what he told you. In jail, you goof. He's a criminal. Criminals hurt people. If you don't know the story of how Marcus Anthony winded it with Christian Muscagney, just Google his name and look for the criminal report. Found in prison and Muscagney got him off on assault and battery charges. <laughs> Look at the eyes. Look at the face. He says he gave up. Miss Gagney says he gave up. He didn't give up. He, well, everybody's saying it except for the referee. Jamin Olavencia working his way out of that vice oh, grip, that crappy, bear hug of Marcus rep. Anthony. And look at the press here. That might the be press it right into here. the power slam. Oh, no. I wasn't looking for that. Jamin with the scouted Spike DDT. This is about as rough a match as I've seen Marcus Anthony have. Incredible main event contest here. A lot of it at the end of Jason Alavencia. Who's gonna make it to their feet? Who's gonna make a tag? It's Jamin first. In comes Goddard. We're back to a neutral position. It's Wayne. Firing up. Rocket and reeling. Jason Wang with a lot of energy. He's been outside watching his partner there for a little bit. Well rested. What's he and going for? And look at for? this weasel on the apron. Miscagney was on the apron. And the referee, we've well, got to cover the referee package. Chris Sharp doesn't point, see it. Point, One, two, three, that could have been it. Probably pointing out the 40 screw ups he saw package make in the last 38 seconds. That's the thing with Muscagney. He has always got a plan. Whoa, look at that. But Jamin Olavencia with an answer. A little creative, used his partner for leverage. Got off a huge drop kick. Well, it's all gone to hell in a handbasket now. But the distraction. Somebody here is not legal. The distraction. Somebody's not legal. Double roll up, double roll up. That's. My goodness, I thought that was it. I think Package apparently thinks Wayne and Anthony are legal. That's where he went to do the count. Wait, 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 wait. Here's a roll up. Got his foot on the rope. That's it. Your winners, Jesse Goddard and Marcus Anthony. They stole it, Kenny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. who had a foot on the rope? Who did you see? Goddard clearly got his foot on the you rope. sure about that? And Muscagney's men, his- My daggum glaucoma kicks in at the worst times. His Christian athletes, if you will, still a win. Damn, I wish I'd have saw that. Here in this holiday edition of OVW. Always with the plan, always with an idea. Christian Muscagney and his hired hands getting the better once again. Here's happy you, hoping you have a Merry Christmas, everybody. For Kenny the Starbreaker Bowl, I'm Gilbert Corsi saying we'll see you here next week. Dinsmore here. Do you have the dream of becoming a pro wrestler? Well, I did, and I came to Ohio Valley Wrestling. Join the Nick Dinsmore Pro Wrestling class today. I'm a former WWE superstar, I'm a former nine-time Ohio Valley Wrestling heavyweight champion, and I can train you to be the best today. For all the information regarding the Nick Dinsmore Pro Wrestling class, go to ovwrestling.com and click on school. 
Join the Nick Densmore Pro Wrestling class today. OBWrestling.com, click on school.